guys and welcome to my channel. Today happens to be Tuesday and we're getting ready for a little walk outside because we need some vitamin D. Yesterday we were going to start our vlog but um, mama had a little car trouble and we had to spend the day fixing that problem. It's still not 100% fixed but at least now she's safe that's all I care about I don't want her driving in the back roads and there's no there's no side to pull off in some of these roads so I just wanted her safe and I didn't want her to drive a car that could leave her stranded in the middle of a two-lane highway without a you know a place to pull over we had to take care of that uh, we had to do our video on the main channel, so the video is done and posted, and I'm very excited about it. I'm so excited about it. It turned out really, really good, so if you haven't watched that video, please head over there and uh, watch that video because that side table turned out great. It may not be, you know, your decor style, but the whole premise behind it, the whole aspect of the video is being able to turn nothing into something and realizing that you can make things and do things that you normally probably wouldn't have, you know, done. Um, I know I wouldn't have done it. So I'm super stoked, super excited about that video, if you can't tell. <laughs> I just want to share that, you know, you can do it. So anyway, enough said. Today, like I said, we're going to hop outside and get some exercise outside. Just a little walk. Um, I used to run a lot. I used to do marathons, triathlons. Um, however, my running days are over and I still try to get outside for some activity, especially here in Missouri in the summer. Um, it's beautiful, hot, <laughs> but beautiful. The mornings are obviously better because as the day progresses, it starts getting really humid outside. We have to start on the laundry room makeover. Again, something else I'm super excited about because in the last video, you guys saw it. it's a scary basement. It's not a scary basement, but I feel like it's a scary basement. Um, it's not something you just go put your laundry in, take your laundry out, and run upstairs and fold your laundry. It's not a place that you want to stay. Um, but I definitely do want to make it a, a more pleasurable place. Who wouldn't? Anyway, let's go for a walk, and I'll see you in a minute. Whew. Okay. That was a good workout. Um... In case you were ever wondering, I use, you're too close. There you go. In case you were ever wondering, I use two apps, um, Peloton app and um, Beachbody app. Backstory, lots of backstories. I used to teach aerobics a long, long time ago. I used to teach Turbo Kick which is made by Charlene, who does Turbo Fire on Beachbody. But it's just so much easier just to turn on the app on my iPad and then just do a quick turbo or kickboxing session. So I use Beachbody on demand for the kickboxing, but I like Peloton for the walking outside, the running outside, and then I have a cycle bike downstairs. So I like the Peloton app for the treadmill and the bike workouts. Do you need both? Mm, probably not. Um, I probably may cut one of those out in the future just for budget. Um, but for right now, I use both of them. Anywho, we are back and before I can price the stuff to go into the cabinet that I took to the booth yesterday, we have to make tags. I don't have a lot of tags left, so I like to bulk make them and I make my own tags. So I thought you would like or you would enjoy watching how I make my tags. I'm going to dump these out and show you which ones I get. I get them on Amazon. So I get them on Amazon. They're two and three fourths by one and three eighths. And they come out of the box. 
like this. And then, so I don't have a true office. I do everything on the dining room table and oh my god, if you guys could see this mess. Um, it is truly a big mess. One of these days, I need to clean it up. Um, I, I do. Um, it's atrocious and I don't know how I live in it because I used to be a very clean person. But I, I constantly, every day I have to do something and it's just easier just to kind of keep it all here. Like I have the YouTube scripts. I have the computer I edit here. Um, I have my, my schedule here. Um, I have pricing. Um, redoing the flooring too. So I have flooring samples here. So a lot of stuff going on on this dining room table. And it doesn't need to be here. I need to find a different spot. But until I can find a different spot, this is where it needs to be. But I do need to make a different kind of organization structure. Maybe one of these days. So I'm just moving everything out of the way. And I have a little, it's a shoebox storage um, from the dollar store. The lid doesn't even fit on there. I probably should get a different one. But in my box is what I use for all my pricing stuff. Um, I have cordage that I got from, I believe this came from Target. And then some, I have just these little peel and stick tags too, just for things that I can't hook a tag to. I use those. I have a thing of safety pins. Container of safety pins to for like blankets and stuff. I put it on there. <clears throat> Some tape. And then a not for sale tag. Some of the display cabinets that I have, um, I do put a price on, like I told you. Um, I do have that East Lake style um, secretary dresser set that is in perfect mint antique condition that it's never been touched, never been refinished ever, but taken care of extraordinarily well. But I do have a price on that. But the cabinet that my aunt gave me, I'm going to put this on because I want it for a display for her. I, the only time I really decorate my booth for a holiday or a, um, for a holiday really is Christmas. I love Christmas. I love to decorate my booth for Christmas, but I don't want the cabinet to go away. What I'm thinking is that I need some I need a pop. I like the white with the black ac accents, so I'm trying to muster around my head what I need to do. Um, I'm kind of creatively stumped at this point. So if you have any suggestions, please, by all means, comment down below and help me try to figure out how I can modernize it because I like the vintage modern look. That's my style and that's the style that I want. And I, that style is a little bit different than all the other booths there. So I want to, I want to modernize vintage. And I don't know how to do that. Hmm. Anyway, making tags. I have, and if I can find these, I'll link these. But I got these from Michaels. They're just um, individual stamps that you hook together and you make you make whatever you want a word sentence whatever I have obviously my brand and then the booth number I have is number nine on our tags in specific we have a certain way that we have to do it I put the branding on the outside and then when I flip it over the number nine has to be on this side of the tag and then whatever you want can be where else. I've ha I have it set up that I write on my tag what it is, the price, and then I have a, a inventory number assigned to it. But I bulk make these. Um, and once you get into the groove, it's not that hard. You're going to need some stamps. For Christmas, I kind of do this gold uh, stamp just for funsies. 
but most of the time it's the black. So let's get set up and I will show you how I make tags. And then when I'm done, I just put it in, in this bag. These are just some spare tags that I have just on hand, just in case a tag is misplaced or falls off or uh, I'm human, I forget to price something. Okay, it's as simple as taking your stamp, stamping on, and the more imperfect it is, the better. Like this and sign is, you know, double, double stamped. That's all right, I don't care. It's all right. And then I take my booth number, And if it doesn't come out like this one, I just take a pin. I don't throw it away. These things are expensive. If it doesn't come out, I just trace over the number nine. And then I throw it to the side and I make a ton of them. So I'm just gonna sit here and make a big bulk of them and then um, probably grab some lunch and get ready. You didn't go anywhere. Good afternoon, guys. It happens to be the next day. And I'm trying to light the candle, and it's kind of hard to do. One hand it. There we go. Okay. A lot has happened. <laughs> um, so. I had every intention to go to the booth, uh, to price things and go to the booth. However, um, let me show you. I know that we left off making the tags and we came into the living room. There we go. And we were able to price these books. But pricing things is like a vortex. You have to actually go in to, well, you don't have to. I go into uh, research mode, identify each and every volume <laughs> of the encyclopedias, but then all this stuff too, this is all the stuff we have to price today. Um, I have to research each and every one of them and it does take a while. So at least we have all our tags completed and done. Now you will probably already have seen this video, but I, <laughs> so I am trying to do a booth reset and I was inspired yesterday after I you know, click the camera off. I was very, very inspired to do a couple of things. One of them is to make a sign. I made a sign. I made it out of a picture frame, believe it or not. So I thought, hey, maybe you guys would like to know how to make a quick and simple, my God, guys, this only took well, it took about ooh, two, three hours only because the paint needed to dry. That, that was it. Had it not been for the dry time of the paint, it would have been done really, really fast. Uh, but I just took a, a thrift store frame that I got from the thrift store for six bucks, put um, chalk paint that I had on hand and made a chalkboard. So I thought, well, hey, maybe you would want to see how I did that. So I went ahead and did a quick little video that we get to upload right now. So I'm going to upload that, edit it really fast, and then we'll get here. And then we'll get to pricing because pricing takes forever. But I still definitely want to get to the booth today put that cute little sign up and get those books in there, get that, get the shelves in it and put a not for sale sign on the cupboard. 
Um, but I definitely want to get that done today because Max has band camp at four. So we have to, and of course it's one o'clock in the afternoon. So, hmm, maybe we should just price a couple of things and then do the video. Maybe that's what we'll do because I can edit the video while I'm waiting. That's what I'll do. I can edit the video while I'm waiting for Max to get out of band camp because it's only an hour long. I, ju I just drop him off and I wait there. I'll hang out there and edit and hopefully get this quick little video up to you guys today. It's like a little bonus video on the main channel. I'm so excited. I'll take this candle. I don't know why I like a candle when I'm pricing things. It's just relaxing. Um, I, the only candle that I am really, 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 um, that I love absolutely 100% is the one from Magnolia, the linen, and then recently the greenhouse. But, um, the other candles, yeah, I mean, they're great, but that is my ride and die right there. Um, and I almost, I don't want to burn them because I don't want them to go away. I don't, it's crazy, isn't it? All right, let's get some work. How do I want you to sit? Oh, you guys want to? You want to sit on the new table? Yes. <laughs> Guys, I love this new table. I do. I love it. Oh, you get to see the messy house. Okay. Uh, whatever. Okay. FYI. Books like this, books are very heavy to ship, so they're not as desirable. And I know that there is pros and cons to fixing binding, but if it's binding just like this, what I'll do is I'll dust off the dust and I'll glue it right back on. And all the research that I found, there's non-archival, or there archival type glues, the thought process is with the archival glues is it can be undone, but school glue is just, just as well. It works just as good. So that's what I'm going to do. We're going to fix this book real fast, but we're just going to wipe off the binding, just get all the dust and dirt because I don't know how long it's been since, you know, it's been clean. You should you should dust your books off but i don't know anybody that does that including me just a thin just a thin coating and then i just take my little wonderful finger and i just smooth the glue around so it can hit all the spaces and guys i didn't make this up i actually got this tip from a librarian so <laughs> In fact, this is what they do. Well, this is what she told me that they did um, to fix the bindings in the library. So, uh, again, I don't know how much of that is true, but I will definitely say that this is what I found works for me fixing books. 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 Proper English, Jennifer and stuff like this. Again, just a dab. And now we need to put pressure on that so it heals nicely. So I'm just gonna prop it up just like that. And that's how I fix books. All right, let's get back to pricing real fast. Again, like I tell you, it's a vortex, it's a time vortex.
All right, off to the booth we go.